seven investments that will make you rich in the next five years. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. Let's be real. We all want to grow our wealth and achieve financial freedom, right? The good news is, building significant wealth in a short amount of time is entirely possible. It all comes down to making smart investment choices. The key is to identify assets with high growth potential, understand the risks involved, and then dive in head first. In this video, I'm going to share seven investments that I believe have the potential to skyrocket in the next five years. We're talking life-changing returns here, people. Whether you're just starting out on your investment journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for the next big thing, this video is for you. Are you ready to discover the top investments that can help you unlock your financial dreams and put you on the fast track to financial freedom? Let's get right into it. First up, we have real estate, a tried and true wealth building powerhouse. Real estate is expensive. How can I afford to get started? There are ways to break into real estate investing without needing to be a millionaire. One popular option is house hacking. Buy a multifamily property, live in one unit, and rent out the others. Rental income helps cover your mortgage and other expenses. It's a fantastic way to start building wealth through real estate. Another strategy is to invest in REITs or real estate investment trusts. REITs own and operate income-producing real estate properties. Think of them like giant landlords. Invest in REITs to gain exposure to the real estate market without being a landlord. Historically, real estate has generated an average annual return of around 8 to 10 percent. Real estate is a tangible asset, providing security and stability. Demand for housing is expected to remain strong, driven by population growth and urbanization. Real estate investments have the potential to continue appreciating in value. Next up, we have the stock market. Now, I know some people get intimidated by the stock market thinking it's some kind of exclusive club for Wall Street hotshots, but let me tell you the stock market is for everyone. It's one of the most accessible and powerful ways to build wealth. When you invest in stocks, you're buying a small ownership stake in a company. As the company grows, the value of your shares increases and you make money. There's always the risk of a price drop, but long-term trends are upward. Do your research and choose companies with a solid track record. I recommend investing in low-cost index funds. Index funds track a market index, like the S&P 500. They diversify your portfolio, reducing overall risk. And they have low fees, keeping more of your money invested. The stock market has generated an average annual return of around 10%. All right, let's dive into the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. Now, I know crypto can seem a bit intimidating and complex, but trust me, it's not as complicated as it sounds. In simple terms, cryptocurrencies are digital or virtual currencies that use cryptography for security. One of the most popular cryptocurrencies is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency, meaning it's not controlled by any government or financial institution. Transactions are recorded on a public ledger called a blockchain, which ensures transparency and security. Think of it like a digital gold rush. Now, Cryptocurrencies have gained significant attention in recent years due to their potential for high returns. We've seen some cryptocurrencies experience astronomical growth in a short amount of time, turning early investors into millionaires. However, it's important to note that the cryptocurrency market is highly volatile. While there's potential for huge gains, there's also the risk of significant losses. It's crucial to approach cryptocurrency investments with caution and to never invest more than you can afford to lose. It's like riding a roller coaster. You might experience some exhilarating highs, but you also need to be prepared for some stomach-churning drops. Despite the volatility, many experts believe that cryptocurrencies are here to stay and that they have the potential to revolutionize the financial system. As more businesses and individuals adopt cryptocurrencies, the demand is expected to increase, potentially driving up their value even further. The Stability of Bonds Let's shift gears now and talk about a more conservative investment option bonds. Now, bonds might not have the same flash and excitement as cryptocurrencies or the stock market, but they play a crucial role in a well-diversified portfolio. They're like the reliable, steady eddy investment that can help balance out the volatility of other assets. In simple terms, a bond is like a loan that you give to a government or a corporation. When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending money to the issuer for a fixed period of time, and in return, they agree to pay you a fixed interest rate. At the end of the bond's term, known as its maturity date, you get your principal back. Bonds are often seen as a lower risk investment compared to stocks or cryptocurrencies. This is because bond issuers are obligated to make interest payments and repay the principal. 
regardless of how their business is performing. Of course, there's always the risk that the issuer could default on their debt, but this is generally less likely than a company's stock price plummeting. Now, bonds might not offer the same potential for high returns as some other investments, but they provide a steady stream of income and can help to preserve your capital. This makes them a good option for investors who are risk-averse or who are approaching retirement and looking for a more stable investment strategy. The Power of Mutual Funds Let's talk about mutual funds, a fantastic investment option for both beginners and seasoned investors alike. Mutual funds are like investment baskets that pool money from multiple investors to invest in a diversified portfolio of assets, such as stocks, bonds, or other securities. Think of it like this. Instead of buying individual stocks or bonds yourself, you're hiring a professional fund manager to do the heavy lifting for you. They use their expertise and market knowledge to select investments that align with the fund's investment objectives. One of the biggest advantages of mutual funds is instant diversification. By investing in a mutual fund, you're spreading your risk across a wide range of assets, which can help to minimize potential losses. It's like the old saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Another advantage is professional management. When you invest in a mutual fund, you're benefiting from the expertise of a professional fund manager who has access to research, analytics, and market insights that you might not have on your own. It's like having a personal financial advisor working behind the scenes to grow your wealth. Mutual funds offer a convenient and accessible way to invest in the financial markets. They're widely available through banks, brokerage firms, and online investment platforms. Plus, they typically have relatively low minimum investment requirements, making them accessible to investors of all budget sizes. Diving into ETFs. Now let's talk about ETFs or exchange-traded funds, which are similar to mutual funds in many ways but with a few key differences. Like mutual funds, ETFs are investment funds that hold a basket of assets, such as stocks, bonds, or commodities. However, unlike mutual funds, which are priced once a day, ETFs trade on stock exchanges just like individual stocks. This means that you can buy and sell ETFs throughout the trading day at prices that fluctuate in real time. This makes ETFs more flexible than mutual funds, especially for investors who are looking for more active trading opportunities or who need to make adjustments to their portfolio quickly. ETFs also tend to have lower expense ratios compared to mutual funds. The expense ratio is the annual fee that you pay to cover the fund's operating expenses. Because ETFs are passively managed, meaning they track a specific market index or basket of assets, their expense ratios are typically lower than actively managed mutual funds. This makes ETFs a more cost-effective investment option, especially for long-term investors who are looking to minimize fees and maximize their returns. Over the long term, even small differences in fees can make a significant impact on your overall investment returns. Exploring commodities like a pro. Finally, let's explore the world of commodities. Now, commodities are raw materials or primary agricultural products that can be bought and sold, such as gold, oil, natural gas, corn, wheat, and soybeans. Investing in commodities can be a good way to diversify your portfolio and potentially hedge against inflation. Commodities are considered a tangible asset class, meaning they represent physical goods. This is in contrast to stocks or bonds, which represent ownership in a company or a loan to an issuer. The value of commodities is influenced by supply and demand factors, as well as geopolitical events. For example, if there's a drought in a major wheat-producing region, the price of wheat is likely to increase due to the reduced supply. Similarly, if there's a surge in demand for oil from emerging economies, the price of oil is likely to rise. You can invest in commodities in a few different ways. One option is to buy physical commodities, such as gold bars or silver coins. However, this can be impractical for most investors due to storage and security concerns. A more common way to invest in commodities is through futures contracts. A futures contract is an agreement to buy or sell a specific quantity of a commodity at a predetermined price and date in the future. Start building your financial empire today. So there you have it. Seven powerful investment strategies that can help you build wealth over the next five years and beyond. Remember, the key to successful investing is to start early, stay consistent, and never stop learning. Which investment are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out my next video, Investing for Beginners. Start building wealth today, where I'll walk you through the basics of investing and show you how to get started, even if you're starting with a small amount of money.